Suppose we choose the number 3 as the first number in our pattern. Then we can choose to add 5 to our first number resulting in 8, which is our second number. Repeating this pattern, we obtain 13, 18, 23, and so on as the succeeding numbers that form our pattern. In mathematics, we call this ordered list of numbers a sequence. Again, a sequence is an ordered list of numbers called terms that may have repeated values. The arrangement of these terms is set by a definite rule. Now, let's analyze the given sequence for each rule and identify the next three terms. Looking at the set of numbers, it can be observed that each term is a power of 10. 1 is equals to 10 raised to 0. 10 is equals to 10 raised to 1. 100 is equals to 10 raised to 2. And 1000 is equal to 10 raised to 3. Following this rule, the next three terms are 10 raised to 4, which is equal to 10,000, 10 raised to 5, which is equal to 100,000, and 10 raised to 6 is equal to 1 million. Therefore, these are now our next three terms the 10,000, 100,000, and 1 million. Next sequence, we have 2, 5, 9, 14, and 20. What would be the next three terms? Now, let's analyze. The difference between the first and the second term, which is 2 and 5, is 3. The difference between the second and the third terms, which is 5 and 9, is 4. The difference between the third and the fourth terms, which is 9 and 14, is 5. The difference between the fourth and the fifth term is 6. Following this rule, it can be deduced that to obtain the next three terms, we should add 7, 8, and 9 respectively to the current term. Hence, the next three terms are 20 plus 7 is 27, 27 plus 8 is 35, and 35 plus 9 is 44. This sequence is a special sequence called the Fibonacci sequence. It is named after the Italian mathematician Leonardo Pisa, who was better known by his nickname Fibonacci. He is said to have discovered this sequence as he having a single pair of rabbits and then finding out how many pairs of rabbits will be born in a year. With the assumption that a new pair of rabbits is born each month and this new pair in return gives birth to additional pairs of rabbits beginning at two months after they were born. He noted that the set of numbers generated from the problem could be extended by getting the sum of two previous terms starting with 0 and 1. The succeeding terms in the sequence can be generated by adding the two numbers that came before the term, just like for example, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 2 is equals 3. 2 plus 3 is equals 5. 3 plus 5 is equals 8. And 5 plus 8 is equals 13. And so on. While the sequence is widely known as Fibonacci sequence, this pattern is said to have been discovered much earlier in India. According to some scholarly articles, Fibonacci sequence is evident in the number of variations of Sanskrit and Pakrit poetry meters. In poetry, Meters refers to the rhythmic pattern of the syllables. Fibonacci sequence has many interesting properties. Among these is that this pattern is very visible in nature. Some of nature's most beautiful patterns, like the spiral arrangement of sunflower seeds, the number of petals in a flower, and the shape of snail shell. All 
contain Fibonacci numbers. It is also interesting to note that the ratios of succeeding Fibonacci numbers approach the number phi, also known as the golden ratio. This is approximately equal to 1.618. The golden ratio can be expressed as the ratio between two numbers. If the latter is also the ratio between the sum and the larger of the two numbers. For example, 1 divided by 1 is 1, 2 divided by 1 is 2, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, 5 divided by 3 is 1.6667, 8 divided by 5 is 1.6, 13 divided by 8 is equal to 1.6250. 21 divided by 13 is 1.6154. 34 divided by 21 is equal to 1.6190. 55 divided by 34 is equal to 1.6177. And 89 divided by 55 is 1.6182. And the rest of this one will be having the same quotient. Geometrically, it can also be visualized as a rectangle perfectly formed by a square and another rectangle, which can be repeated infinitely inside each section. Shapes and figures that bear this proportion are generally considered to be aesthetically pleasing. As such, this ratio is visible in many works of art and architecture, such as in the Mona Lisa, Notre Dame Cathedral, and the Parthenon. In fact, the human DNA molecule it also contains Fibonacci numbers, being 34 Armstrong long and by 21 Armstrong wide for each full cycle of the double helix spiral. Now, let's check your understanding. Before that, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Here's the question. What is the missing two terms in this Fibonacci sequence? 3, 5, blank, 13, 21, blank, 55, and 89. You have 10 seconds to answer the question. Time is up and the answer is 8 and 34. Got it? Very good! For those who ask how and why, here it is. Again, Fibonacci sequence we define as a series of numbers in which each number is the sum of the two preceding numbers. Like for example, the sum of 3 and 5 is 8 while the sum of 13 and 21 is 34. That's why the missing two terms is 8 and 34. Got it? Next question. What is the next two terms of the sequence? 21, 34, 55, 89, 144. Comment your answer. So next, we have, what is the first two of the sequence, blank, blank, 233, 377, and 610? You have 10 seconds to answer. Time is up, and the answer is... What is your answer? 
the answer is 89 and 44 got it very good now we have what is the first and last numbers of the sequence in Fibonacci blank 1597 2584 and blank now comment your answer thank you for watching i hope you understand and learned something today for the next video we are going to talk about variables universal conditional statements universal existential statements and existential universal statements don't forget to like this video subscribe for more updates thank you